are at the Aaron Curry exhibit at Lincoln Center. And I'm very excited because we're gonna walk around and talk about and look at and take shapes of many of the sculptures that are in the exhibit. So we're gonna start with this one. And my first question to you is, what do you notice? So you describe, what stands out to you? It looks like the spray paint has been sprayed on it. This one looks like a heart. This part looks like it's a, um, a bird-shaped head. Okay, so now just take about 15 seconds just to look at the sculpture first. And what we're going to talk about is what we notice about it, but also what is similar to the first sculpture and what's different. And now who has something they want to tell me that they notice about this sculpture? But, oh, Chardé. There is like less, um, less add-on. This big sculpture doesn't have as many add-ons. Yeah. It's a great observation. Amir? It looks kind of looks like a person flying, like the details are like it looks like a T over here. Yeah. That's a great observation. What do you think these sculptures are made out of? Metal. Malia? I think they're made out of metal. We think they're made out of metal. How do you think the um, sculptor put it together? What do we see up there? Do you think those might have anything to do with how those yeah, shapes how are coming do. together? We're talking about these little studs up there. What do you think, oh, Ronald? Not, um, um, Just one second. They're I bolts. Think. Uh huh. And is that that's a good way we, to keep the metal together like that? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Great. Alicia, why might an artist, a sculptor, create a work that seems like maybe a child might have done it, or that it has a childlike quality about it? Why would he do that? I think they might have done it because, like, they wanted to make it unique, and if like they made it all formal, someone could copy it and maybe change it a little and make it seem like it's their own art. And they just want, like, they might not feel like um, just putting this on me and they just might, like, the artist could have done this with his eyes closed, because of her <laughs> eyes closed, uh -huh. and it would still come out beautiful. Uh -huh. All right, now this time, instead of talking about it first, we're going to actually look at it and take the shape of it. All right, ready, everyone? Take the shape of the sculpture. <laughs> okay, great. So this time, we're just going to ask, what do we wonder about? I wonder how tall it is. Why did the artist put it in this shape? I wonder if that's a monster eating its own hand. <laughs> I wonder how that, um, he catch this idea. I wonder why he only put two colors. I wonder if this is an animal because the way the claws are. I wonder if those have teeth. Uh huh. Hands. Like putting their hands inside their mouth. Okay, my last question is if you were going to tell a friend about this exhibit and encourage them to come visit it, what would you say about this exhibit? Come!